Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today we're gonna be doing a reading focused on what dreams are coming true over next year. I almost had a blink for a moment. I forgot I was doing that topic, but yes, um, what dreams are coming true one year from now? I want to thank you all for being here. This is a um, it's gonna be a very special reading. I want to say thank you for all the likes and the comments all of you give me. It really is appreciated, and I just want to give you all that credit because it, it means a lot to me. Also, my kitty is saying thank you as well. Um, I also have a couple announcements. One of the first announcements I have is I have a brand new podcast. Um, if you're interested in listening to that, if that calls out to you, um, all you need to do is click on the description section. I should have a link there for the podcast, and uh, I just filmed my second episode of it. And I am looking for guests as well. If you want to partake and want to be a guest, um, check it out and email me. You, you can see in the description section of the podcast. <laughs> All right. Um, I also have readings and other readings uh, available, available if you are interested in that. Any of my services, you can check them out in the comment or description section. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I just saw one more on the camera, by the way. This is not a one cent. Anyway, um, let's get started. We're going to go from Aries all the way down to Pisces, okay? Uh, alrighty, so where are we at? One, sorry, the um, Metatron says to put 122, 122 for Aries. Let's see. Um, Metatron, can you tell me uh, what dreams are coming true for Aries one year from now? Um, I definitely feel you are going to, without a doubt, feel like you're in a way different place than where you are currently. In fact, I actually feel, Aries, you feel a little bit stuck um, or you feel like not much has changed. I don't know if you have someone in your life that you see that like, wow, they have all that change. Like, wow, they're doing this. Whoa. whoa. Like, it kind of feels like maybe you're comparing yourself to people. One of the things that I used to do um, is look at like, you know, Facebook and you say, you, you know, you go to high school with people, you graduate with them and you look at where they are versus where you are, whatever the case is. I don't know how you're drawing this comparison, but um, it feels like you're looking at other people and you're seeing all this change, all this evolution, and you're looking at yourself and you're not really pleased, right? Um it feels like one year from now, that feeling dissipates and it goes away. And you're actually very happy and grateful for where you currently are. I do feel um, comparing yourself to people is probably not helping. Um, there is a proper way to, it's not really comparing yourself to people, but there's a proper way to go about it, right? Um, one of the ways that I go about it, and it's more of a competitive way, right? When I see someone doing something, I'm like, that's cool. How do I do that? And then I go and I do that. So that's a good way, right? When you look at people, you're like, oh my God, they're there. I'm not, right? That No, 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 that's not good, right? So you want to make sure that you're doing it the first way, the best way, where you look at people, wow, I desire that. Let me go get it. Boom. That is a good way, right? It's not, let me penalize myself for not being where they currently are. Everyone has their own life trajectory. But one year from now, I see you being at an amazing place. You're going to be shocked at where you are one year from now versus where you are today. And um, this kind of reminds me for the podcast I just filmed, one of the things that came up in the podcast was kind of, uh, where I was three years ago, right? You know, um, I mean, I'm shocked at, right, at how, where I am, how far I've come and honestly who I am, right? I, you know, I discovered who I am fully, um, and it's real crazy. And I tell you this because, <sighs> I've been there. <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why I say it. You know, I'm like, wow, I, I, I've been there. And I, if you keep discovering, you keep healing, you keep growing, and you keep that persistence, which is what is key to getting anywhere in this world. Sorry, I got like, I was just kissing him, oh, my cat, and he's the hairy one. Um, and so I have cat hair. Anyway, but if you if you are persistent, you will get there. And one year from now, I see you getting there because you are persistent. You don't give up. And um. You're not taking no for an answer is what, is what Metatron says. Is there anything else about one year from now for Aries about what dreams are coming true for them? You're having a lot more money coming your way. Money is easier as well. I see it raining money, actually. I just see like gold coins raining down from the sky. Uh, money flows a lot easier and your money problems aren't um, as big of a problem or they're gone completely. Um, a Metatron cautions the second one, like he doesn't see that being gone completely, but you are on a path, on a trajectory where they will be. And 
it kind of reminds me again, like when I, you know, there was a point when I'm like, I was doing better financially, but I was like, oh, this is not like, you know, my money's not that great. Um, you had to push through that one too, by the way. Um, but I did. And um, now everything's great. So I, I tell you this, you know, we go through, um, we have to go through those hurdles, those challenges. And uh, it's it's not that they're not hard, right? It's that we are stronger. And that's what it's all about right now. Um, and I see it just being a really, really beautiful time for you, Aries. And you're appreciative of your day to day and you're appreciative of what you have and what you created for yourself. And you're so, you're so grateful. Um, I feel like you're not even looking back at what you may perceive as maybe mistakes or how much time you wasted. Um, and it's, there's also this thing by the way, but I, I see you not having that limiting perspective. I see you not having that judgment towards the self again. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Everyone. Like I, it was just, I was kissing him. Um, I was rebooting the internet. <laughs> I was like, let me just give him some kisses. Anyway, um, very beautiful. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, so, hmm, really beautiful. Okay, let's see. We're at uh, six minutes and fifteen seconds for Taurus. So let's take a look here, manager. Can you tell me, um, what what is uh, what dreams are coming true for Taurus one year from now? I see you being in a committed relationship with someone. Um, it feels like there's stability here. I don't think this is someone you know. Um, in fact, I think that this is someone you don't know. And it kind of feels very, unless they've changed so much, they're different. That, that's true, I suppose. But it, it really does feel like you are dating a different type of person, like a person that you've never had, like a, a person that you never been able to find kind of thing, like stability, <laughs> uh, someone with consistency, someone you can rely on, someone you can trust and someone who I want to say means what they say. Sorry. It's like they, they, their word is their bond is what Metatron says. Sorry. I got a cat here. I really do. It's, it's, it is what it is. Anyway, everyone, um, I see you dating someone and being uh, in a relationship with someone you are very, 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 very happy and pleased to be in a relationship with. It does feel like a different speed. And in fact, I feel like it's going to be a little bit like imposter syndrome. One of the things that I have noticed, and this comes from private readings and stuff like that, um, when I'm working with people, and a lot of times I know that we want um, a fulfilling, lasting like a uh, harmonious connection, but we are so used to not that, mm, right? We're so used to it. So when we get it, we tend to think, well, do I even want this at this point now? Right. Uh, it, Cause it feels so different than whatever, than what we've had previously. It feels so much um, greater and better. And it's like, it's not like imposter syndrome exactly though. It probably is. Um, it's also like, I'm so used to chaos do I even like this at this point? You do. We just need to work through it, right? You need to have a little bit of a time, take a little patience and appreciate the good moments. But I don't see that being necessarily an issue, but I can see you sitting here like, what is this, right? Is this what I want? Um, can I be happy here? I think you may be used to or addicted to drama or addicted to something always going wrong, right? You're used to that. So when it doesn't happen, it feels really weird and uh, ooh, I think you may be used, to, you may be, you may be used to inconsistencies as well, right? Um, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, stick it through, follow your heart, and I feel like it is what you want. If I'm being honest with you, I actually feel like it's what you desire, but it's going to feel when you're there, like whoa. Um, it's one of the things that Madison does bring up is that you may be used to highs and lows, and this is not that. It's just, it's just, um normal uh, like it's it's there's a good right but it's not you're not having those uh roller coaster ride basically Ooh, the air came up mm, real important for you um i see a little bit of like oh i don't know about this um give it some time follow your heart and you know that it's for you i think it's what you want I think it's what you desire, but it's hard. It's hard to make that shift. It feels like it's a 180, like you're getting dud after dud, um, or chaos or roller coaster type relationships after roller coaster type relationships, and you're having one is like, wow, this is great. Um, but do I want it? Right? Um, it's hard. It really is. It's because you're used to it. You associate love with the roller coaster or something. You associate love with that negativity. It's very hard to separate that. 
but I have faith in you. <laughs> you should have faith in yourself as well. And you do deserve this. You deserve something better um, than whatever you've currently had. And that's what I see one year from now. Um, is there anything else that you see, Metatron, one year from now for Taurus and what they're going to be receiving or having in their life? No, that's it. Um, it is a little scary when you find someone that is marriage material. I think you may want it or you may want to settle down in some way as well. I think you do, right? But it's lovely to have that idea. In fact, I think we may like the idea more at times than the actual person. And the reason for this is that there's finality here. Like this may be someone I marry and you may get a little weird or you may get a little cold feet there. Um, normal, by the way, it's very normal. It's very, it's very, it's very important that you know this, but it feels like you're sitting here thinking, wow, I might marry him. And you may look for reasons that it's not going to work or that it's not going to um, be successful. It's, it's fear, actually. It's fear. And um, you may not even recognize, sorry, Manishan says that sometimes when we are in relationships that we know we'll never get anywhere, like our energy knows, like, oh, this is going to go nowhere. So we're never afraid, right? Um, we know it's just going to burn up uh, hot and fast. But this is one your energy is going to know, oh, wait a second, I might be with this person for a long time. And you're going to start to have that fear, work through that fear. Um, no big deal. He's saying it's normal, normal. Again, this is all because this is a new phase, a new chapter, a new type of relationship you've never had. And that takes getting used to. It just does. And one year from now, that's what's in your life. One year from now, you're walking that path. And one year from now, you're going to be scared, real scared, um, nervous, worried, all that good stuff. And it's, um, I don't see it being a problem per se, but um, don't let, don't think because you have those fears that that means something's wrong, right? Make sure that you are following your heart. Make sure you're, you're accessing, right? The deepest parts of you um, and looking for those answers and not just assuming those, those uh, fear-based feelings that are coming up are a sign for something, right? You know, don't, don't, don't con yourself, right? You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve something great. And um, yeah, take it, I guess, right? I want to thank you, Taurus. Don't forget to like and comment. Um, let's see. Ooh, 22, 22 for Gemini. Okay. Um, Medicine, can you tell me um, one year from now? So one year from now, Gemini, um, I see you making a very successful business opportunity. You have been waiting for some kind of business opportunity. This could be you creating a business, by the way. I don't know, right? Um, it feels like wherever you are in business or career, you're having a massive like boom. Uh, up, up. It's Metatron says the upper echelons of it, right? You are having some kind of like, maybe you're looking for a career change. I see you going through that and having this massive change as a result. Let's say you have a business. I see it blowing up. Let's say you have a platform. I see it going viral. I hope this makes sense. I don't know. It's just like, I hope these examples make sense to all of you, but whatever it is, it's like, boom. Um, I'm, I'm upgrading, I'm up leveling myself and it's cool. It's really, really cool. I see you, um, minister says some of you, it's starting out a year from now, but it will get to that, right? Um, so if you already have it, then it all, then it will be better. And one of the things that I just want to say about that, um, for you, Gemini is the more energy you put into something that we're passionate about, the more it's going to grow, right? The more energy something has, the more it can create. And I, I really do. Um, this is the, how logically how you would look at this is take a, take for instance, your business, the more time you give to your business, right? The more energy, cause that's actually what you're giving, the more it's going to be successful, right? Um, so understanding that you are going to, uh, you're reaping what you sow and I see you planting a bunch of seeds, right? A bunch of stuff. And it's going to finally start to harvest and it's amazing. Um, so I feel like, let's say you don't have any like ideas now, right now, start planting some seeds and they will grow. Um, it took like a year, eh, like eight months for my YouTube channel to have success. You know that? You know, that is crazy, crazy for like, you know, like literally for me, that's crazy, but it took the time, right? You know, I planted the seeds. I kept going. I was determined. I wasn't going to give up. And it finally hit, it finally went somewhere. I tell you this because I want you to understand that it's, it sometimes takes a year, some actually eight months, right? Um, Medicine says it's about six to nine months of consistency and, um, 
you believing and having faith will get you, um, will get you like a rocket is what you say, like, like a rocket ship. So I see one year from now though, your business growing, your career growing, or you're you having a massive career change. And it's like, wow, I can't believe I am where I am today. And it feels, um, as well, like this is a really important, oh, like, like experience for you to have, because a lot of times our mind likes to play tricks on us, right? It likes to convince us that things don't change. It likes to convince us that we're stuck. It likes to convince us that um, we're not good enough, right? It, Metatron says for you to pay attention to what you're doing and how it's growing. And so that you recognize that no matter what you put energy into something, it will get big. It will grow and it will start to harvest something. You will start to be able to harvest something eventually, as long as it's in your highest good, as long as it's, uh, you know, um, something you're passionate about and something that is fulfilling for you, right? It will always reap harvest. So Metro wants you to pay attention to that. So don't let your mind con you and get you to quit four months in, six months in, seven months in, and then you don't go anywhere, right? Um, I don't know how many of you have ideas that you've um, you tried to cultivate, right? And you didn't, you stopped and then it go, didn't go anywhere. Uh, if you kept going, right, it would have, right? <laughs> that's just it, right? Um, just keep that in mind. That's just what I want to say. Is there anything else one year from now? Um, I see you wearing better clothes as well. Um, how Metatron is showing it to me, man or woman doesn't matter, but I think this is a status symbol, you know, like a Birkin bag, you know, like you're carrying a Birkin bag. Like, I don't, I don't know how much those cost, but, um, yeah, you're something like this, like you're, um, you're dressing ni nicer, you're wearing better clothes. Um, and I think like a Birkin bag says a lot in terms of um, where you are financially, right? Like you have enough money to pay for that, right? And it's not a literal sense, like a Birkin bag, imagine costs a ton, but you understand that statement, right? Um, you understand what that means. You're making enough that you are able to buy stuff for yourself that, that are luxury. It's luxury stuff, isn't it, right? Um, that's how well you're doing financially. And it's because you started to plant the seeds and you started to, um, you didn't give up. And you not giving up, you planting those seeds allowed you to create this for yourself. And that's why it's not, it's not, it's a, this dream's coming true as a, it's, it's you feeling really good financially, but it feels like it's very much tied to career and a lot of abundance with this as well. I see like tons just like flowing to you like this, like, wow, it may be passive income. That seems passive income is the American dream is or not. I don't know, but um, it, it's, it's so, you know, some people can do this, but it feels like that, doesn't it not? Mm. Anyway, I will leave it there. I want to thank you, Gemini. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 17. 44 for cancer. Um, let's see. Um, Metatron, can you tell me what dreams are coming to for cancer one year from now? All righty. So the one dream that the one dream that I see that's the, like the biggest one that's coming true for you is you have direction. Um, it's not like you, you're making the go, like you're 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 on it, the path just yet. Some of you may be. Um, but it feels like you have been in search of answers and clarity. Like it feels like you're like, where do I go? What should I do? Um who am I, right? Um, these are really, actually really important questions once to ask themselves. And it feels like you have all these answers and you kind of know exactly where you're going to go and the direction in which your life is moving. And um, one of the things that I I get a lot um, is people always wanting to know what they should do with their life. Uh, I get that question a lot. I cannot, like, and, and I know that some people will, but as someone who understands the full scope of things, um, you need to make those choices yourself. In fact, you need to follow your heart. But the problem with people is they don't know who they are. And that is a very interpersonal journey, is it not? It's very personal, right? Um, you know enough about yourself to know where you're going. And you know enough about yourself to know what you want and what you don't want, and what you desire, and what you cannot live without. Mm. And this is where you, this is a dream coming true for you uh, one year from now, is you have absolute direction. And this leads to determination. Um, one of the things that Metatron says that this manifests as is you know to say no to things you don't want. I don't know if you are a yes person or you're like, oh, okay, I'll go, right? And it's not for you. Yeah. 
you know what's not for you now. And you know to say no, and you are very clear on that. I also feel like there has been a part of you that would say yes to things, maybe even people, because you they had a, you had a poverty or lack mindset within the self, right? Um, which thought, which made you think, well, I need to jump on this opportunity or I may not get another one. Yeah, you don't give an F kind of thing. Like you are very, very sure about what you want, um, who you are, where you're going, and you don't care about saying no. And this puts you in a really beautiful position of power. One of the things that Medicine wants me to bring up is the fact of how we interact with universe, right? You know, universe gives us stuff, right? But if we say yes to what we don't want, universe thinks it's it's done it already, even though we don't want it, right? So let's say um, you're looking for an apartment, and universe is giving you these other apartments that you don't really like and you don't, you're not really interested in, but you have this lack mindset and you say yes to it, right? Well, guess what? Once you say yes to that apartment, universe is going to stop showing you stuff and stop leading you down a, a different apartments, right? Um, and this is this lack that I feel will, will, is probably currently within you that you, I would get the poverty lack contracts I offer, by the way, that will, will solve this. But this lack made you say yes, and um, you no longer have that lack. You no longer say yes to things that are not for you, and you're patient, and you're willing to wait and trust and have faith that it is out there. And this is a it's like this position of power. Menachon is saying it's like um, you being in control of your life and you being a creator of your life. Um, it is a very, very important step that all of us must take, and you are on the path currently of, of getting to that stage, getting to that point, and this will have monumental effects on your entire life because you're going to be saying no to what you don't want, trusting that what you do want is out there and um, not settling as well. It's a real beautiful energy. Um, I feel like this is going to impact your love life as well. I feel like it's going to impact um, your career. I honestly kind of feel like you may even know your purpose at this point um, one year from now, like you just know. And it's a beautiful, beautiful amount of um it's a beautiful place to be um, because there's so there's so much certainty in the moment that you're in uh, one year from now. Is there anything else in terms of um, a dream coming to you for cancer? I feel you're going to be surrounded by better people. Um, I don't know if your friend group is like meh, blah, eh, right? Um, I see you being surrounded by better people. Um, you are definitely going to be saying no to things in your life that are currently in your life, um, letting them go because you know it's not for you as well. And that's beautiful. This is what allows all these new things to come in. Does it make sense? Like, it's like I see, so I saw that future of like, you're looking at your future like, whoa, I know where I'm going, but you also know what's not for you and you're willing to ditch it. And it's beautiful. Um, I, some of you, you could be moving, um, I did give that, right, that apartment example, um, but I just got the energy. I didn't get, you know, that was just an example, but I got the energy. So I see that as well. For those desiring moving, uh, yeah, I want to thank you, Cancer. That's all I got for you. Please don't forget to like and comment. And we are on Leo 27. He's saying 44, uh, 22, 44. Okay. Um, Metro, can you tell me what uh, dreams are coming true for Leo one year from now? You have some goals or aspirations for yourself that you are really going to be putting to work. I feel you are currently working on stuff, Leo. Feels like that. Uh, there's a current like I am working on this. I'm trying this. I'm I'm. I don't know if what's going to work, what's not going to work. I don't know what's going to stick, what's not going to stick. It kind of feels like you're building stuff and. Um. Oh, I got my. I want. Okay, I'm going to give you an example because I see you in a workshop. Right? And you're putting stuff together and you're trying to build something and you don't know what you're going to build, uh, but you're trying it. You're giving it a go. You're, you're inspired. You're not, you're determined as well. And one of these times you're going to build something right for whatever goal this is, and it's going to work. And, um, it kind of reminds me, uh, like you may have a lot of ideas currently where you're like, Oh, I don't want this. I don't want to try this, but it's like, you're, you're going to try different stuff. And then one of these ideas that you're going to feel is really right for you. Do it. Right. Um, one of the, uh, I, sorry, I forgot what I was watching. I forgot. I forgot what I was watching, but I remember thinking I was watching some show and, um, it, it, it reminded me about how we kind of need to, Oh, uh, I was watching Doom Patrol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was Doom Patrol. It was, uh, it was with Cyborg. 
and Cyborg wasn't sure about himself. What is currently the new season, by the way, and he's not sure. He doesn't know what his bliss is. And how we find what our bliss is, is we try different stuff. We just go and do it. Just go give it a shot, right? You know, you don't, I don't know what works for you. You don't either. And this is what you're figuring out currently. And one year from now, I see you knowing exactly what you want to do, exactly how you want to do it, and exactly what makes you what floats your boat and what makes you happy. So you're, there's a lot of certainty, but it, it, it's you building something. So I see you going to places and trying stuff. So maybe um, just a random example. Let's say you start a YouTube channel. You're like, eh. Let's say you start an Instagram thing. I don't know what that is, but let, you're like, eh. Right? And let's say you do something else like... um. I, I don't know, like a podcast, right? And you're like, oh, this is for me. Right. So the, I see you trying different stuff and working out what works for you and what doesn't work for you, what makes you stimulated and what make, doesn't make you stimulated. And you're going to figure one of these things out and you're going to work on it and you're going to grow it and you're going to build something um, massive. But you have all the tools, what Manitron is saying when he shows me the workshop, to build what you want to build. Um, you, everything's there. You just don't know how to how it fits together. So you are currently at that stage of like, I know I can build something with this. Like, I know I can, but what? And that's what you need to figure out. But who you are determines what you should build. Um, and the only way is to try. That's the point. So if you have a lot of ideas or if you are wondering, right, um, what you should do, what's going next. You need to just try whatever comes up. So one of the things that um, Metatron always brings up and all the beans light always bring up is when we just like, let's say you, um, you, you think about, oh, maybe I should take a painting class. Do it, right? It may not go anywhere, but you need to figure it out. When you try new stuff, it, it, it helps you understand more about yourself. And that's kind of where you're at right now, Leo. You need to know, I need to know me. I need to know me, 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 like real me. And how can I possibly know what I want if I don't know me on a deep, soulful level? It's not possible, right? So this is you currently figuring out. And then one year from now, you're at a really good place. And you're building something already one year from now, by the way. My school manager says it's already, it's already built and you're going to continue on it. Um, is there anything else that you see one year from now for Leo, for the dreams coming through? Things are more simple. I feel like this currently, what you are dealing with is a big weight on your shoulder. Like it feels like I just need to solve this. Um, the best way to solve it is to try new things. Um, try new setups. Try new, um, uh, try to fit new stuff together. It's like, he's saying this like cooking. Just put, uh, put, put some stuff together. See how it tastes. And if you don't like it, try another one. And that's all it is. It's, it's just, you need to keep trying. I don't know if this is your issue. Um, you just don't want to try or... You, you are worried about trying the wrong thing. Probably the second one, isn't it? Right? Ooh, the air came up. Yeah. Probably the second one. Um, you, you, you're worried about trying the wrong the wrong thing. The wrong thing leads you to the right one. And in fact, the wrong thing helps you check out some stuff. Right? You know, you, if it's wrong, then you know it's not yours. And it's a good place to be. I um, Mentor says that he, he understands that you don't want to waste time. But you are wasting way more time. Um, like, like. I don't know, freezing instead of actually doing. So you're never wasting time. It, it's there's not a waste of time to figure out you don't want something. It's actually a really good place to be. So give that a shot. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. I want to thank you, Leo. Don't forget to like and comment. 27 58. Okay, for Virgo. So let's take a look here. Um, a manager, can you tell me what are what dreams are coming to for Virgo next year? Um, Virgo, you are finally talking to someone you haven't talked to in a while. It is a big one for you, by the way. It feels like the connection with this person has been in serious disconnect. Like, um, probably for a long time probably not looking that great as well. And um, you, I think that you may have all but given up hope here. In fact, you may have actually just given up hope all together um, to the point where you kind of weren't even thinking that this was even possible at this point. And lo and behold, um, when you release all attachment, that's when things start to flow. And that's exactly what happens. This is this thing starts flowing, things start moving, and lo and behold, it's right in front of you. And um, it is a beautiful, nice surprise, what Metatron says. It's a dream coming true. It kind of feels like um, Metatron's giving this example where you have a birthday party, 
and you just like, okay, oh, it's, it's a surprise. Maybe why not? Um, maybe not. And then you go to that birthday party and you receive an amazing effing gift. And you're like, I was not expecting this. That's what this feels like where it's like, wow, wow. Like, I, I mean, I thought it was just going to be a regular party, right? It's, it's, I thought it was going to be just, you know, I was going to get like sucky gifts again, right? <laughs> That's what it feels like. I, like I, I thought I was going to get those sucky gifts again. You know, um, no one gets me. I, I don't know what you say to yourself, but you know what I mean? Um, and it's like, you have this gift and you're like, wow, wow. I, I mean, I, I thought about canceling is what you're going to think, right? Um, Hey, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Metatron is playing a song. Um, the heartbeat song, heartbeats song by Kelly Clarkson. Um, Yes, Heartbeats song by Kelly Clarkson. Yes, that song. Um, he's playing that song in my mind right now. So uh, listen to that if you feel called to. But um, you are finally talking to someone that you haven't talked to in such a long time. And um, there's a beautiful friendship here. I just want to give you that. I think some of you just as a friend. Um, and it's it's amazing. It kind of feels... Um, like it was necessary for your growth at this point as well. And it feels like it's exactly what exactly what you needed. And um, and maybe I know that we have these ideas or these assumptions or these uh, limiting perspectives about what we need, right? Um, uh, don't we all, mm, right? We're like, I need this, I need this, but if it's not in your life, I don't think you do, right? Um, and it's, it's, this is a period in, of your life that it is needed this connection. And, um, it's going to feel like a very, really beautiful support system. This person is very supportive. Um, they're very loving and they're very caring about you as well. And it's, it's, you were able to receive it. Medicine says in the past, you were not able to receive that as greatly or probably at all. He's giving the more at all kind of energy where you were able to receive that support and, um, you're not open to it and it's going to feel amazing and it's going to help you. He's saying lift off um, you're going to have some kind of lift off experience. I think you are going to be taking a really big leap in the right direction because you feel supported with this connection. Um, he's saying a lot of you's um, seeing the connection or seeing this person, um, it, it's going to help calm some of the negativity in one's mind. Um, and you, you will no longer be held back by that. I don't know. I, it kind of feels like there's um, maybe a frequency or a negative thought pattern in your mind. Um, it, it will, it will be, uh, it's like, it's going to be wiped out with, with this, with this person coming back. So anyway, it's beautiful. Is there any last thing that you have for Virgo in terms of what's, um, what dream is coming true for them? Things are working out. Everything is falling into place. Everything. It's just, it's all like, wow. I like every area of my life looking great. And you are very happy about it. Um, you, Manisha says one of the things that is kind of a hallmark of it, right? I don't know if hallmark is the right word, but that's the word he gave me, um, is you, is you, you not looking back at your past and regretting it. Not at all. You don't look back and think anything of it. In fact, you are, you don't even care. And uh, he's saying that's a really, that, that, that alone for you is a big deal um, where you're not even looking back at the past. You're just like, this is it. And I'm enjoying it. And um, that's why it matters. I feel like they have a very grounding effect on you. And this person makes you feel very present. And that's something that is needed, right? Um, one of the things that humanity as a whole is learning is to be more present. In the old days when there was no TV, it was very easy. Right? Um, in fact, we none of us had to train that. But here with technology, because technology is here for the first time for every single person that's here, um, we have to learn how to be ground uh, present and grounded. We have to learn that. It's like a skill we all have to train. Very difficult, is it not, right? And this is this person has that energy and that you and vice versa. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there. I thank you, Virgo. Don't forget to like and comment. All right. So we're at 33 11 for Libra. So um a manager, can you tell me what dreams are coming true for Libra run you from now? One of the things that I see you is hitting some kind of status. In fact, I don't know if you're trying to be like a love guru or um, you're going to be, but I see you at a very ser serene, peaceful, loving state. In fact, I see you surrounded by lotuses um, uh, just surrounding you. And I, I don't, it kind of feels like you're in balance, you're in harmony, um, you're in good spirits, you're in good energy. You're at this energetic point in your life where it's like, wow, I, I don't, I cannot believe how amazing I feel. So one year from now, you are 
uh, maybe you could be seen a love guru. I swear I got that though. Like it, it feels like you're at that, you're at some stage where you feel so harmonious, so loving, so caring. Um, and it, it feels like it, it, it's so that you're exude, like exuding, exuding that energy and you're filling everyone's cup with it. And it's amazing. I think a lot of people are going to be very much attracted to your energy and very much attracted to who you are and kind of what you're offering. One of the things that I have been working on and a lot of people work on is trying to bring in more love into this world, trying to like channel more love. It's very difficult. I, I know I've... Um, I know I've, I've been like working at that currently. That's actually my current thing I'm, I'm at right now is channeling more energy, more love in my heart. I actually did that last night, <laughs> by the way, I was, it was, I did like, um, about four hours of it, um, of healing with the beans of light. And it, it reminds me of that. Like you are channeling, um, such high intensity love through your body that it is making the world a better place. And, um, just like negativity is infectious, so is love. And uh, it, it's, it's, you know, negativity and positivity are equally infectious. They really are. And um, and you are exuding really positive energy. Manager says that you're at a better place than you ever have been. And you're feeling great. He says that you've, you have accessed a part of you that you haven't accessed before. And this energy is now as a result of that. It, it could be healing that you, it may have, and you may be gone to see a love guru. I think a lot of you may be a guru or something like that, or you may be on your path to that. One of the things that has become abundantly clear. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. I, I, I need to get disciples. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I digress, but I, I, I just, I, I said that to myself yesterday. I got to add that anyway. Well, it's enough about me. Um, one of the things that has become abundantly clear is that we need to get masteries. Um, and one of the things that I have been doing myself, uh, I said, I got up my own mastery. If you, if this like really appeals to you, get a master. And I don't mean someone who's alive. I mean, a being of light, um, master and have them, um, teach you a mastery love guru or, um, energy healing or it, it's such an odd thing. Um, but the energy was so clear. It, it's like, I see you at this, um, like sitting on a lake floating and all these lotuses around you and you're channeling that energy. Um, this is important for the world. <laughs> it, it just is, but you, you're gonna need a master to learn to do that. So I would recommend the master. Let me see if there's someone who steps forward. Um, I actually have someone and it's, it's Buddha. Buddha steps forward to help you. If you are interested in this, um, this, this energy, this peaceful energy, is there anyone else? Yes. There are dragons that step forward to help you with this. Let's see. Ether dragons and the sacred heart dragons and the love dragons also step forward to help. I also released a dragon tree guided meditation on my Patreon. If you are interested in that, um, check it out. Uh, it, 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 gets you access to all the dragons from all the dragon families. So it is what it is. So if you want that, um, they guided me. They kept telling me to do it. So I had to do it anyway. But if you are interested in that, but Buddha is the one who steps forward to help you um, get into the state, get into this energy. He's uh, sorry. Metatron says that it is very easy once you heal all that's been blocking you from entering that, I think your energy is naturally in this. I think you have a high vibrational energy, like naturally. I think you feel good. People feel good when they're around you. There's just a need to learn to master um, uh, sending more of that out, channeling more of that into the body. That's it. That's what he's saying. Very, very interesting. I'll leave it there. I want to thank you. Don't forget to like and comment, Libra. 38 for Scorpio. So, uh, Madison, can you tell me what are, what's dreams are coming to for Scorpio one year from now? Mm. I see you healing, healing stuff that you haven't been able to heal in a long time. One of the things that Madison is saying is that you may feel, okay, you may feel normal, but you have a lot of heaviness and burdens within yourself and baggage on you. And I think that you know that. I think that you know you have deep-seated pain and traumas and burdens and blocks and probably a lot of past life influences. One of the things that people, I, I know that not everyone wants to believe that past lives are a thing, but it doesn't change the fact that past lives are a thing. I just got to make that clear, right? Um, so 
whatever you you don't it, it it's still going to impact you. So a lot of you have a lot of pain from a lot of lives, including this one that you haven't quite worked through and healed. One year from now, I see you working through this and really getting it done. One of the things that I have been struggling with, Scorpio, is completely healing my past life. It has been an uphill battle. Like I swear, every time I heal everything within my body more past life stuff comes. It just like gets attracted to me. And I've been like, why does this keep happening to me? Why? Um, they're saying it was normal. Um, but every single time, like it's like it fills up parts of me. Like I I, I swear, like I heal 100% and then past life pops up again. And it's like, it just, it just, I don't know, it just gets attracted into the body. Very annoying. Um, but I see you one year from now being uh, healing the deepest stuff, very, very hardcore stuff. Um, what's been stopping um, Scorpio from doing this? Uh, Medicine says that you're not honoring some of the feelings. You don't want to feel some of the feelings and you may be trying to move away from them. Um, but what happens is you move through them this time. Mm. I see you like, you know, like a ram going boom, like right, right into that brick wall and you don't care. Um, and you are making very, he's saying once you start doing it, you, you make very, very fast progress here. So one year from now, very healed, uh, kind of Scorpio coming. And, um, he's saying you may have mood swings or you may feel moody. Um, there's a kind of energy like that. Yeah. That stops because you healed that stuff. Um, it's interesting because it kind of feels like the energy that you're holding within yourself um, is currently releasing a lot of that stuff. So let it go. Um, if you participated in my uh, community candle, it's very focused on healing. Also, next next month's community candle, it's going to be going to be completely focused on deepest healing. So I highly recommend you do that one. It's going to be a Scorpio moon, by the way. So I just I'm telling you this because um, I'm being guided to tell you this. But uh, next next. Um, Next candle, it's going to be that candle because I am sick and tired of healing past life stuff repeatedly. It's the same thing. The same, it's the same stuff. I'm like, why, why, why? So I'm going to go all in and just heal it. So I recommend you do that as well. You don't have to, but you follow your heart. Um, but you're at a state of harmony, balance, and healedness. One of the things that Manitron is saying is that you feel very secure and balanced within the self. You... Um, I think you have a habit. I see this energy of your, your consciousness moving away out of your body. I don't know if you have a lot of distractions in your life or you use maybe you scroll on the phone. Maybe you watch a lot of social media uh, stuff. Maybe you're always watching TV. Maybe you always have a book. You know, people, when you are not mindful, like, I, can I be real with all of you? How could you know you have healing issues? You're, you just can't, right? Because you're not mindful. You have to feel to heal. And I see you currently in the energy of like kind of leaving your body, not wanting to feel your body. One of the things that I find is the most craziest thing, but I know a lot of people have this issue. Um, whenever I'm healing people and they're not in touch with their body, they're not settled inside of their body. I'm like, how do you feel? And like, they're like, I don't know. Right. I'm like, Oh my Lord. I'm like, Oh, my. I'm like, I just, I just know you, you, you know, your, your consciousness, right. is not wanting to feel your body. So, um, that is just uh if you really want this to be the dream that comes true, um, and you should because it's important, um, make sure you are feeling your feelings. Make sure you are allowing yourself. Medicine saying to just give yourself some time each day and uh, work through those things very quickly. Um, there is someone, and they came through for Libra's reading, Tara. Tara, um, uh, sorry, Buddha came through for uh, Libra's reading, um, and Tara is, is uh, Buddha's um, twin. And Tara is the one who steps forward. She's, again, I uh, I had uh, Laura for my podcast. That's her one of her main guides. And that's the one that's coming through again for you. So you may want to work with Tara um, and our Toro, Tara, I think it's Tara, and uh, Buddha. Those are the two that will be such an amazing help for you. Um, call them in, ask for their help, ask for their assistance, and they will help heal you. They want you to, they want you to be successful. Like they want you to live a life that is high vibrational and high vibrational life is literally key to feeling great. I am. And there's no reason why you should um, be running from this. You have all the support you need. You just need to ask for it and obviously you want to do it, but that's being key. Is there any other, um, any other stuff that you have a Metatron for a Scorpio's one year from now dreams coming true? He says that you're going to feel like you made it. 
you know that feeling where like, oh, I healed most of the stuff. Yeah, it's such an amazing feeling, by the way. It's like, oh, like, you know, it's, I remember when I was going to that cycle, uh, it's, it took like, Manchester says it took me about six months. I am, an, I, I, I'm, I, uh, you know, I, I am an A student. I'm like an, I'm like an A plus student. So do not compare yourself, but um, it took me like six months and I, I remember going to that and it was like every single day, every single week I had new stuff, new stuff constantly popping up. And, and finally, I don't feel that anymore. Oh, it's so amazing. I want that for you. And one year from now, I see you getting there, but it requires you moving through these things. And it's a better life. It's literally a quality of life issue, right? For you at this point. Um, and that's it. That's it. I want to thank you, Scorpio. Don't forget to like and comment. All right. So Brett, 44. 34 Sagittarius. Um, a manager, can you tell me one year from now, what are Sagittarius's, uh, what dream is coming true for Sagittarius? You are finally, finally, oh, this feels like it's like a finally type of thing, uh, receiving notoriety for the work that you do. I'm not sure if this is like career, like you're in a job, so I'm a job and you just, you don't feel like you're being seen. You don't feel like you're being noticed. Everyone wants a piece of you uh, one year from now. Everyone is um, very much like uh, wanting to meet you, wanting to get to know you, wanting to shake hands with you, wanting to rub elbows with you. It feels like you have been going through your life as of late Sagittarius, probably most of it. And you've not felt like people have noticed you for the things that you can do and the person that you are and what you bring to the table. In fact, you kind of feel like a lot of people have been overlooking you or maybe not appreciating you. Um, Menachon says some of these things are mirroring energies you have within the self, right? So you don't appreciate yourself at times. You don't uh, value yourself at times and you don't, um, like yourself at times as well. So it's important that you kind of work through those things. Um, I really do understand how hard it is, right, to grasp that, to hold one's mind and wrap it around that, right? But in reality, those feelings are not coming from the experiences you're having. They're coming from within, and then they're happening outside of yourself because that's what, that's what has to happen to show you. So I see that as being like kind of like let's have some access and awareness to that, right? But I also see one year from now, you conquering this, and everyone wants a piece of you. Oh, like when I tell you, um, you're going to feel a little swamped at this point because I see you meeting someone and then another person walks up and then there's another person and you're like, wow, they, all these people want a piece of me. And it's a beautiful experience, but it requires you to be, um, to see yourself completely, to love yourself completely and to value you completely. Um, a lot of, there's a, there is a feeling of disempowerment coming through. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit coming through just a touch where it's like, um, You've kind of felt, ooh, the air came up, helpless and hopeless when it comes to you not being seen. She's like, well, what do I do about this? Like, you know, I, I don't know what to do about this. Yeah, um, heal that the, the original feeling, the source, which is you, and then it will start to manifest in your reality as like, as everyone appreciating you because you appreciate yourself. And that's being key. Is there, ooh, the air came up again, very important for you. Um, but finally, it's like it's, it kind of feels like you've made it, um, and uh, it, it's maybe whether this is like a corporate career or um, whether you have some kind of business, you are being sought after, and uh, maybe you're going viral. I don't know. There's just something like that. It's very clear that you feel seen. It's very clear that you feel appreciated, and it's very clear that people are finally noticing you for you and what you do and what you bring. Um, it's it kind of it, it's the feeling that you didn't think it would come um it's coming and the feeling that you didn't think you'd uh experience this you're experiencing it and it's such a beautiful energy oh sorry it's like just like surge through me um uh when you time travel you can get to I, I didn't realize what it was for a while but i've been time traveling during these uh readings uh anyway so can you uh is there anything else you want to say for sagittarius um metatron and um on this on, on this or any other dreams that are coming true no, um, instead of you trying to go to people, people are coming to you. Does that make sense? Um, you're no longer, there's no, I, I'm not saying that you were chasing per se or not saying anything like that, but it feels like you kind of had to, um, maybe try to be like, you know, like sell yourself or maybe you try to, um, 
uh, present yourself in a certain way. Yeah, you don't need to do any of that stuff. In fact, it's kind of like you're feeling very good um, uh, and you're feeling like you're in an amazing place. And it's like th that's um, everyone's coming to you and you don't have to go to them. And um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I feel here as well, big people or maybe for big compared to what you do, um, they're going to notice you as well. And that's also being key. Um, it's very important. That's what Madison wants to say. It's like you're uh, you're catching the gaze, catching the eyes, catching the attention of people who you may look up to or you may see as bigger than yourself or may see as I want to be them one day or want to be I want to have that one day. So it's you're you're catching the attention of these type of people. Um, and they're liking what they see. Yeah, they're liking what they see. They're liking how you feel. And it's just opening up a lot of doors. Uh, I see you networking, though, in a big way. Um, Madison does suggest that you do the networking, um, that you say yes to these things. Follow your heart, obviously, but say yes as well, okay? So, like, uh, I want to thank you, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like and comment. So, we're at 49. 49. Wow, Capricorn. So Metatron, can you tell me one year from now, what dream is coming true for Capricorn? Some of you are going to be having children um, are settling down or on a path to that. I see you, Capricorn, um, one year from now having a path where you feel like you're settling down or you feel like you have this box checked when it comes to family or, or um, kids. There's something like this. I think you want uh, maybe you don't give yourself the uh, the time. Maybe you don't give yourself um, the energy, right? Uh, sorry, the energy is like per, per, per like uh, I don't say purge through me, um, but I, yeah, I guess it did purge through me, and it was like, whoa. Um, I see one year from now, um, Capricorn, that you are there's something about home life that is feeling amazing. I think a lot of you are going to have kids, but maybe you're not in a relationship, then you're going to be in a relationship. Um, but there's something about feeling at home, feeling uh, calm and feeling safe. And um, a lot of you um, have been really wanting this, um, whether you've known this consciously or unconsciously. Um, it feels like it's a really, really good place to be. Is there any, is there any more about this, uh, Metatron? Can you get some more deets on uh, Capricorn one year from now stream? Okay, I got what he's sorry. He gave it to me. Um, I don't know if this has been your issue. It doesn't have to be. Um, but you do you know at Christmas, you know, there's a lot of Christmas songs about this where you don't have anyone. Um, you're like, oh, another Christmas. I'm alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but it's true, right? You know, oh, wow, another Christmas and I got nobody. Um, I don't know if that's been your issue or you've had most Christmases like that or um, your Christmases, right? And that were never really that great, right? There was always blah. Yeah, Christmas time, holiday time, very exciting. And it feels like you have someone as well. So I feel like you're having experiences like that where they're absolutely exciting. They're super fun. And you are... Um, you're excited about them instead of dreading the holiday season. Um, you are um, humming and like singing to yourself and you're in a high vibration and it, it just feels like, I think that there's a part of you in your subconscious that has been really desiring um, this experience. Uh, family, um, having great holidays and having that fun time. You know, some people do have those, don't they? No, I don't know, right? Although I'm pretty sure some people enjoy the holidays, right? And love the holidays. Um, you are really loving the holidays. You are really loving the experience of family. And it's feeling amazing. You feel like you fit and you feel like they fit with you. And Everything's feeling great. Uh, Menachon says that um, what really um, helps you turn over a new leaf is that you are um, healing yourself and you're putting all the pieces together. Um, when you are not, when you're incomplete or when you don't know yourself, it's really hard to fit in, right? Because naturally we would fit in with all beings of light because that's just what it is, right? We're all family here and this entire world of big family. And when we don't feel complete, when we don't, when we feel pieces are missing, um, we don't feel like we can fit in with people. So I see next year, one of the dreams coming true is you're feeling perfect. You couldn't see saying that you're going to say this to yourself. I can't ask for more. And it were, and it's because you put all the pieces within you together. And that's why you can't ask for more. It's the beautiful sensation. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> it really does feel like a beautiful energy. And you're going to be very excited about this. Um, 
I think there's a specific love interest that's a very, very important to this as well. Um, you're going to feel comfortable with them. You're going to feel very excited by, um, uh, with them. It kind of, some of you, I got to say this because it really does feel like this. I don't know if you, it's like you meeting this person activates something inside of you that you didn't even know was there. That's what it feels like. It was the first message and it came through again. I have to say it. It's like they, it's like you think, like, I didn't even know I wanted this. <laughs> I didn't even know I that this was an issue. Um, but because you're drawing the comparison, it's one of the things that I say a lot, right? You know, miserable people don't know they're miserable. You know that it's real crazy, right? They don't know why they have never experienced anything else other than that misery. So they think this is normal. So I see you like wherever your holiday experience is, you're looking back like, whoa, <laughs> but I think most of you is kind of like, we're feeling, oh, this doesn't feel that great. Right. But you know, you kind of think it's normal, but when you feel the comparison between what you are getting and what you have, you're like, how was I living off of that? How was I enduring that? That seems insane. And this person is who activates it within you. They are, they are the one who helps bring awareness to this part of yourself and um, and awareness to what you've been missing out this entire time. Um, often, when we feel high vibrational energy, we never go back to low vibrational. We won't. We just won't do it. I we just we just we can't. Like we truly can't do it. Uh, we won't put ourselves through that. So it feels like you've never experienced what you're about to experience uh, one year from now. And I think you're going to be this person, you're going to be spending the holidays with them and in your family as well. Maybe they're a family, but I think it's just, you're going to feel great. Yeah. Anyway, I will leave like that. I want to thank you, Capricorn. Don't forget to like, comment. So we're at 55, 35 for Aquarius. So manager, can you tell me for Aquarius, uh, one year from now, hmm. Um, you're definitely signing some kind of contract with some kind of people that you're networking with. I see you making really big strides in your career. Um, this has to do more with like setting very long-term plans though for your career. Like I, one year from now, I see you meeting people like there's feel like developers, blueprint type things are, um, maybe, um, uh, you're signing some kind of contract uh, to build a home. I don't know. It, it doesn't really feel like that, though. It feels like it's actual business. Um, it's actual career type stuff where you are meeting people and you're laying the foundation for years to come. And this is a really big deal. Manishan says that this is a dream come true because you can envision yourself in the future as someone who's having a lot of what you desire currently. So it's like the door open, um, things are flowing and things are finally moving in the right direction. I don't know if you've been feeling stuck. He says that you haven't been feeling stuck. You haven't been feeling that stuckness, but you have been lacking something that you've been desiring in your life. Like it's like, um, I don't feel stuck. I know what I want and I'm trusting blah, blah, blah. Right. We all been there. Right. Um, you gotta believe, um, it feels like you're in that energy mostly, and you're or at least trying to be. And one year from now, you you're signing the contracts that you know are going to have long term financial impacts on you that are going to be amazing. You're going to have a lot of financial abundance, a lot of financial prosperity, and it feels like it's building a solid foundation for something. I see um, this solid foundation building into a skyscraper of some sort. So it feels like it could be. Um, some kind of business, right? A uh, long-term business, um, maybe some really, really, really substantial wealth. Um, but I see you signing these contracts, as you mean these people, and I see the groundwork being laid down one year from now. Um, he says, manager says that you have been um, desiring this though. Um, you are wanting this. It feels like you already have an idea about what this is. So whatever idea that is, um, it is the idea. Um, Manishan, he wants me to ask this question. I didn't have to ask this for other signs, but Manishan, can you tell me, how can Aquarius ensure that this happens? He says one of the best things you can do is keep moving forward and believe in yourself and believe in that it's going to happen. Um, again, it's all about that gratitude, living in gratitude, living in appreciation, and believing in yourself, and keep taking one step in front of the other. One of the things that I see, it's quite, kind of the craziest thing. I get a lot of private readings like this, and they always ask me, um, should I do something or, um, it's just right for me. And it's like, just keep taking steps. You'll figure it out. Right. When we hesitate, when we second guess, when we are, um, overly cautious and we don't make moves and we're, we're slow to take steps, it drags everything. Time doesn't move, 
right? Time is an illusion, right? What moves is us taking steps on our path. That's what changes our life, not time itself. How, um, how many years, and I've had so many, by the way, so I can really testify to this, but how many years have you had that gone by that were exactly the same? There's basically nothing changing, right? How many? I know I had so many. I didn't do anything for the first 28 years of my life. and knew nothing, right? And I tell you this because it's important that you hear me when I say this. Time doesn't change. Time doesn't move things. We move things when we, when we take steps. And that's what Metatron is saying. Keep taking steps in the right direction. Keep believing in yourself. Keep um, embodying gratitude for what comes. And it will come. But again, I see many, I see them as two men, but they don't have to be. But it feels like that. Um, uh, it's interesting. Um, I see them with hard hats, but I think that's more uh, 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 like, like figurative, right? Um, these are people that are going to be putting the work in for you. They're going to lay the groundwork for you. And it's beautiful. Is there anything about the business or anything that you can tell me? He says if it, it's, it's, uh, it is a business, businessy. It varies person to person. Where you are is determined by where you are today. So wherever you are currently will be the, will determine where you are next year, and that will be the same thing every year from now, basically as well, right? You know, you keep trying, you keep putting the work, and you keep um, believing and taking those steps. You will get there, and that is the only way. One, it's just a beautiful thing because uh, the the world that we live in is a it's, it's a you know it's been created, it's a construct, right? Um, it's it's geared right uh to to for us to be successful if we were if we were willing to keep trying and that's the point it's what he's saying just keep trying um don't give up i don't see you doing that by the way i feels like you're in good energy um yeah your energy does feel fine doesn't feel like you're choking up doesn't feel like anything's going on but um there are always going to be those 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 moments of doubt right those moments of frustration um it is your choice to engage with those moments. I don't recommend it, by the way, but it's your choice to engage with those moments, okay? Um, any last thing, Madashana? Sorry, I got like cat hair. I was kissing this one little baby right there, by the way. Um, any last thing for um, Aquarius and their dreams? No, no. Um, it's just that, yeah. I want to thank you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at one hour. Tickets for Pisces. Manager, can you tell me what dreams are coming uh, true for Pisces one year from now? Okay, uh, I have I, one of the things that came to me was that you're going to have a very uh, a much better group of friends. Um, some of you, you may be already building that, um, but I see the group of friends growing and becoming more prosperous. Um, the second thing that he came uh, that came to my mind is you're going to be visiting a place that you've been wanting to visit. So I see you traveling to a place that you've been really, it's like a dream of yours. Like, oh, I would love to go there. Um, Metatron, I'm sorry, it, it had to say this though. Metatron does suggest this. Um, have no expectations for this. Sometimes he's saying that those pictures that people take that highlight and make everything vibrant and vivid, um, you know, when we get there, it doesn't quite look like that. So it's just something to take note of. It's a random thing that he just channeled through, but um, I see you going to, uh, traveling to a place you've been wanting to travel for a long time. Some of you, use, I want to say Spain or Africa, but it, it, it doesn't have to be. Um, it's just a place like that, an exotic place, uh, a place that um, has a lot of interest. There's culture there is what he says. Uh, there's culture there as well. He also says that there's energy in this place that you are going to pick up from these places and then you're going to take them back with you and then you're going to incorporate it into your life and into your work. So it is important. So these places that you dream of going are not some coincidental places. This is, I hope that makes sense to you. It's not like, who oh, this? I just always want to go there. Have no, like, it, it means nothing to me. No, no, it means something. It's something big that you will then incorporate into your own energy and then actually start to exude that energy into the world itself. One of the things that um, I it's become abundantly clear to me is energy exchange. And I know that we all know that, right? But I've had a, I've, you know, they've been really dissecting that lately and making sure I really understand the inner workings of it. But we exchange energy with people all the time. You watching this video is you taking on some of my energy. And I know a lot of you love it. That's why you want to come back, right? Um, you love the, the 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 vibration. You love the excitement. You love the what I exude, right? Um, it's important, right, for uh, the energy that we have within ourselves. It's really, 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 really important that we have um, 
uh, the energy that's best match for us within ourselves, right? So we can give that out. And this energy that you're going to go and pick up at this place, uh, I think especially with the culture, he is saying, um, I don't know if you feel like you should do this or not, but I want to say that you may want to look for a shaman there. It's an odd thing to say. It's not going to be for everyone, but um, it's just something that's coming through. It's just a little bit like, oh, maybe a shaman. I don't know, right? Um, uh, they would have the energy because they would concentrate it in the self, right? Like, like again, like I was telling you about myself, I concentrate the energy. So it's something to think about. It does, you know, you, you follow your heart, obviously, but I see you traveling, traveling to places you've been wanting to travel um, and having a group of friends. You may be doing it with them, but I don't see it that way. I see you having a group of friends that are amazing and very exciting, and you're so happy to have them. And I see you also going and traveling to places that you even want to travel for a while. These, Metatron says that these are things that are calling out to you for a long time now. Um, I actually feel like your inner child has been calling you to these things. One of the things that um, uh, Metatron wants to highlight, if you've always wanted to do something, your inner child is the key to that, right? Your inner child wants to do it. Um, so always give your inner child what it wants. Um, I, I, I know some of the stuff is expensive and he does get it by the way. It really does. Right. But make sure that you are giving your inner child those things. Cause it, it means something. These things don't mean nothing. And that's the point of this. There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no such thing. Right. So these places that you want to go to, um, maybe it's a road trip, maybe it's something more exotic. Um, it all means something. Um, some of you, I, I see Sedona, Sedona, uh, Arizona being key as well. It's, I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm getting these places. There's this, flowing through anyway is there any other dreams that you have right now or dreams that pisces will be doing he says check the rest of your chart being key by the way um you're having carefree times a good time as well one of the things that he says it's been a, it's a little bit of a key i feel like your bad times or those bad feelings are not catching up with you anymore um you seem to be not that you're outrunning them but you know how sometimes we tend to have the past come back or the past flood us or are those negative thought patterns or those negativity always come back and it's just like always trying to sink us yeah you are leaving that in the past again it's something about you stepping foot in specific areas of earth being the key to this okay so anyway it, it, that's also being the key um I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you, Pisces. I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank you, Pisces. Please don't forget to like and comment. Um, and thank you so much and take care. Bye.